Ona Fest, and you know why you're here. This is the Zenvo with the moving wag animated wag in flex sight. <laughs> I am so happy that this car is in the game. And of course, we're going to check out the customization. But look at the wag. It does the thing. It does the doom flappy flippy. And it kind of makes sense to bring this into the game just before Shmi's season, which is really, really cool. But there's also two cars in this bundle. So if I do a nice switcheroo to this, the Pagani Utopia. I have never heard of this thing in my damn life. I'm, I'm genuine here. So what it looks like to me is the Pagani Huayra, which is one of my favorite Paganis, but it looks really old school and classy, but you'd be surprised to know in case you don't actually know this car exists, like myself, it was built in 2023, or released in 2023. I get it. It looks like an old, classy version. I think it's horrendous. <laughs> but there is definitely going to be some customization. I hope. It's an elite bundle. It ain't going to be an elite bundle if there ain't no customization. It will be a bundle. Let's begin with the Utopia then. Because we've already got it selected, I kind of have a feeling this hopefully is going to transform and look beautiful and modern and new he says i don't know maybe sometimes it's nice to have classic ah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure visual customization let's freaking go we have got 12 front bumpers which means we are here for a good time ivory tower know exactly what they're doing instantly looks so much cooler all you got to do is stick a little bit of carbon fiber on there and it's gonna look spicy Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Bless up. Bless up. We've got 10 fender options, which is actually changing the hood. Fantastic. Oh, it's changing the f the fenders are tied in and it has a pissing wide body. Like, what the? F I've never heard of this car. It's just arrived and we're already butchering it. Pagani don't know what they're doing, clearly. <laughs> just, just, just ruin it. By ruin it, I mean improve it. I'm going to go for a little bit of carbon there. That looks super spicy. Standard wheels, because I don't like the, <laughs> the glossiness. The standard wheels actually really cool. They're wheels, but they're tiny. They're, they're, they could be like nine inch wheels, but they have a carbon surround with actual carbon vents around it. That is super cool design. Release the air, release the, the brake dust. Maybe it stops brake dust as build up as much on the wheels because there's less wheel. <laughs> We've got side mirrors with a little bit of carbon. And you know me, absolutely. Carbon fiber. It's tied, the side skirts are tied on with a belt strap. That is a very classic car. Oh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wide body on the rear. Look at that. What the hell? Oh, this is an elite bundle and a half for, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> We've got a carbon bubble. Oh, oh my god you know i think it deserves the utopia name it's allowed to have it oh what a machine this is what a cracking update i this was actually the car that i thought was going to be the weakest of the two and now i'm going to shut my damn mouth these bigger exhausts are super cool i kind of feel like i'm digging this one you can do the interior but i just have not decided what color i'm going to do this the yellows may be too much i think it's too aggressive too aggressive orange i don't know i i'm kind of feeling like the best color for this car is a more subdued color this green is stunning i kind of really like the standard color it works really well toyota wouldn't let us do any vanity and pagani doesn't give a damn <laughs> and let's throw on some upgraded parts Hypercar is like the only class I have fully upgraded parts, but just no question. Sorry, music off for this because I want to have a listen to this. Kind of sounds basically as I would have expected. The backfires, that wing is. <laughs> it is just doing something to me. Whoa! It's definitely a hypercar. <laughs> Wow, what a machine. That's one thing I love about the crew is it brings out these obscure cars that I've just genuinely never heard of. I would not have known this car exists if it wasn't for the crew. And I'm sure for a lot of people, the Zenvo is the same. It's one of those that's not a big brand. Most people have never probably heard of a Zenvo. I uh, don't blame you. But this, I know that... Oh, well, yo, 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 my coat's sticking out the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I was just parking. All right, before we carry on, I do want to customize the Zenvo now. This thing is already mental looking. From what I know, this was Shmi's first 
hypercar officially, which is pretty cool. And again, we know Shmi is also going to be in Motorfest, I think next month, which is so wild. I'm like, I'm, I'm before Shmi. That's right, Shmi. Get in, get in your damn place. Right. We've got the blue that looks awesome. We've got the red, amazing, yellow and red, sexy, blue. We've got a dark blue. I think for this one, definitely bright colors. Bright colors all the way for the Zenvo. Oh, that is so good. Like a bright pink. It just works so well. All right, visual customization. We've got four hoods. I wasn't really expecting a hell of a lot. Ha <laughs> ha. But maybe I was stupid because that is awesome. We got 20 front bumpers. Oh my goodness. I just... Uh, what? I don't think they could make it any more aggressive, but they've made it more aggressive. That's actually really hot. See, normally I would go for something like that, but that split there actually looks really sick. And I love the lights that kind of follow up, follow it back there. So I'm actually going to go for that. Instead of, go for the first time ever, going for the most crazy option, I'm going for a little bit of a subdued option. Three fender options. Amazing. We can go for dark wheels, which have like a hint of silver around them. That's really hot. What in the Christ are those? <laughs> I kind of hate them. <laughs> I don't know if they suit the car very well. The silver wheels, though, I'm actually going to keep. We're going to keep those. Two mirrors. We've got carbon or plastic, it looks like. Side skirt customization. We add an extra vent and paint it blue. Hmm. Put Zenvo down the side and stripes down the side. That's really cool. I don't think this might be one, one of the first times. Definitely not the first time. But one of the first times they've actually incorporated like a normal design that's around the car. And put it onto another piece of the car. Maybe that's available. Maybe that's a part that you can actually, like, as an upgraded Zenvo. I don't actually know. I don't know nothing about the Zenvo. But that's why games are so good. They introduced me to cars that I never would have heard of. Did you hear that, Toyota? And then maybe one day I'll be like, oh, I'll buy one of them. Maybe not in the Zenvo's case, but like a Supra. They're in the game. What are you talking about? Yeah, but need for speed. <laughs> right. We've got the ability to paint these blue and make... We, we actually tint... Oh no, it's painting the, the side blades, but it's also changing the color and tinting the, the rear brake bar. Just in case you want to do that. Yeah. What the f- <laughs> Yeah, let me remove the wing. I'm all about choice. Choice is, is good, but hell no. <laughs> Not this choice. <laughs> this one. <laughs> rear bumper customization then. I've just realized you can see the wheel through the rear. That is, that is weird. <laughs> is that not weird? <laughs> It's cool. It's a little bit weird. So we can double the exhaust tips and actually it doesn't make them smaller. It cuts a bigger hole. <laughs> what? <laughs> we got seven out of 10 and 10 out of 10. I really like maybe just doubling up the tips like that. What's the difference on that one? Ah, it's the smoked lights. Thing is, I don't have smoked lights on the light bar, so I'm actually going to go for that there. I kind of would do that, but this is why... Oh. Yeah, this is why separate customization would be ideal for the next game, Ivory Tower, because like, I, I want the painted scoop, I want the carbon struts, and I want the tinted out middle light. <laughs> why are you determining what I can pick and choose? You're so annoying! <laughs> anyway, I'm probably going to keep the blue. So how about we do red? Yes. We'll do slight red. Red accents. What an interior. Once again, some tiny upgrades and see what 1500 horsepower looks like on the Zenvo. It's already damaged. Did someone hit me? No. I think it was my driving earlier. You know what? So I don't actually know... <laughs> What engine's in this as of the moment? I'll search in a second. But it kind of sounds like they've modified the Bugatti sound. I don't know if anyone else hears that. The modified Bugatti sound. That steering wheel for a hypercar is kind of shit. <laughs> I can be honest. That is possibly the weakest point of this car so far. They thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just grab a Honda wheel from a 2000s car. But the wang moves. So you know what? F the steering wheel. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. So essentially what the wing does, it adjusts and moves. And the idea is that, well, basically we stick to the ground a little bit more. Is it a gimmick? I mean, potentially. It definitely could do something. It also breaks, which is, I just love. 
watching the motions of the wing. You, this definitely should be a mode on a car if you buy this car for the wing to just do a little dance. You know how Teslas do the stupid door opening and closing? Nobody gives a sh- I want to see the Zenvo do like a wave. <laughs> the speed up also really reminds me of Honda S2000. That's definitely why I said Honda in my head a little bit earlier. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, friends, not only today have we got two exciting cars in the crew, and honestly, these are huge success. From memory, the bundle costs two million. I think it's two million. You can buy the cars separately, I believe, maybe at a later date, if not now. And it will be cheaper if you want the individual car. If I was gonna pick one, I don't know if I could, because quite frankly, they're both freaking sick. We do need to test them and see exactly what speed we're getting. But like with all hypercars, I imagine once you're drafting, it, there isn't much in it. You know what? Of the two, I'm gonna say that the Pagani actually may have fell a little bit faster. It's a difficult one. So anyway, let's have a quick look at the details. 280, 280, they both say, this has got 1200, this has got 1400. The Nord 60 is literally the same. The, 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 the difference between them is very minimal, which is pretty cool, actually. All right, that's why it's got that kind of cheap rumble. That's something that signifies in the crew that it's got a flat plane engine. It's kind of a weird sound. I don't think they've quite got it right. They're almost there, almost. But it's a 5.8 liter V8, which is pretty cool. Would you say hypercar? It also has twin superchargers. Okay, now maybe I would say <laughs> hypercar. That, yeah, maybe, I don't know. There's a dime a dozen twin turbo V8s available and that's like an M5, the Porsche Panamera. Hell, I think even like G-Wagons and stuff. So hypercar? I guess maybe the weight. Okay, no, it's got 1500 horsepower, but I upgraded it. <laughs> and who would have thought the Pagani has a twin turbo V12? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> That's news to me. This is something Pagani do. Mercedes AMG V12, absolutely everything. V12, however, I have no question. That's a hypercar right there. <laughs> Piss on it. <laughs> Definitely pulls a heck of a lot faster and much more confidently than the Zenbo. That's what you get. There ain't no replacement for displacement, baby! Except, you know, the Bugatti has two V8s glued together, so it's gonna be a little bit quicker still. Nonetheless, I feel like this is a really confident card that might do well. By comparison, which we get to about 200, yeah. She's not as confident, see, at the higher end. That's a V8. V8 struggling there. We need something bigger. We need a V10. We need a V12. Then the Zenova would be perfect. Oh. Top speed's not bad. But as soon as I do a sharp turn, that's it. It's game over for this thing. It's dropping. It's dropping. <laughs> I don't know. Initial testing, I've, I've got a safe mind that the Pagani is better. Now, I was mentioning that it's getting close, my friends. We can now officially see the names and stuff of the events and what types of events you're going to be needing to access. It opens in six days. My summit. I'm really excited. So <laughs> let's have a trick through. So we've got Black Panther's Dream Ride. If it doesn't make you smile, dot, dot, dot. It's an eclipse. We've got Chill Event, or is it Street Tier USA, S Plus Tier Event, Camaro SS. Oh, one more thing. Japanese and last call, the Porsche Panamera S Sport Turismo. Mwah! My daily, my baby. I love it so much. And of course, the Skyline. The first event you get to try my Skyline. Top 10,000 get access to my car. Only 10,000 people. And I have to get it too. <laughs> Anywho, let me know in the comments of the two cars, which one are you taking home? Or both? Because the customization is very good on both. Check out the previous crew videos here. Because these, you don't want to miss.